Hey guys, so you probably noticed by the title of this video that this is going to be a little bit of a rant session. Do you like my hat? I think it's cute. And if that's not your style, then I'm sorry. We are so close to Christmas, and with the Christmas season being upon us, we all know that brings lots of good things like happiness and cheer and people wanting to buy gifts for their loved ones. But the holiday season also brings around a lot of assholes. So if you work in food and or retail, like me, you will probably be able to relate to all of these instances. So here are my top 10 complaints Let's begin. It is eight in the morning and you are my first customer. I come up to you, hi, how are you doing? What can I get for you? Um, I would like this right here, which costs about $3 and I am going to pay with a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> you, sir, I know now have never worked in retail or for any large corporation for that matter. If it is eight in the morning and you hand me a large bill, I am not going to accept it or I will. I'll just be really upset about it. You come up to me and ask me, do you have any of these in the back? And I say, no, we do not store any of these items in the back. In fact, we don't store hardly anything at all in the back. And would you reply, I drove 25 minutes to get here. Ma'am, if you had to drive 25 minutes to get to my store to find an item that you didn't know for a fact we had, that is your problem. If you have to tell me your journey to get to the store to try and make me feel bad, in that case, let me show you the secret selection. Follow me. No, you should have called ahead of time. This one, oh man. I am scanning your items with a smile on my face. Don't be fooled, it's a fake smile, but hey, I'm getting paid. And finally, I grab an item and the barcode will not scan. After about five attempts, you look at me and tell me, hey, it won't scan, must be free. Never heard that one before. This one applies to both retail and the food industry. Depending on where you work and how long you've been there, it's easy to say we don't get paid the best. So you have to understand the frustration when I am literally taking my paycheck and spending it on food slash merchandise for the store that I work for. So think about this. This is genius. The store is ultimately winning here. I need to stop. I am standing at the cash register. There is a long line behind you and I am ringing out your items. You look up at me and say, I'm sorry, I left my wallet in the car. I'll be right back. Now, I understand that mistakes happen and that's completely fine. Please do not make me stand there. I have to stare at the faces of all of these poor people that I cannot assist while you have to run out and get the money that you clearly forgot. It's really not okay. <laughs> this is a good one. Hey, I had this coupon, but I left it at home. I mean, I don't know if you guys can still give me the discount. Yes, please continue to tell me about the coupon that you left at home, thinking that I'm just gonna take your word for it and just do a little magic on my computer end. And voila, saves your money right there. Now I understand some stores do actually do this, but the majority of us don't. So please remember your coupons. I swear to God, most of the people that come into a store to pay for something have never used a credit or debit card in their entire life. Or they just don't know how to read. Either or. The machine says, please swipe your card. Should I swipe my card? No, ma'am. You should do a dance for my amusement. Swipe your card. Okay, someone comes up to me. Excuse me, is this item on sale? It was on the sale rack. No, ma'am, just because you move the item to the sale rack does not mean it's on sale. And no, it is not false advertising if you move an item to a different spot in the store with a sign that says clearance. A customer comes up to you and says, well, gosh, that is expensive. Yes, those prices were my personal decision. I'm sorry. And this also goes along with, I get a better price at the other store. Go there then. 
Okay, so someone comes up to you and has a return or an exchange and the item has clearly been worn. Oh, I don't know what happened. Like I took it home and it just like, it just like was all messed up and I just don't know what happened. No, ma'am. I can tell that that bra has been worn at least five times. Oh no, no it hasn't. It came like that. It was just, I don't know, it was messed up. And lastly, the terror of the declined credit card. You're at my register and you're swiping away and on my computer it says, card declined. A piece of me dies inside. Now I have to figure out how to break the bad news to you. Sir, it says your card has been declined. No, it hasn't. It can't be. I have money on there. I don't know how it's been declined. It must be your fault. Suddenly, it's my fault that you don't have sufficient funds to pay for what you wanted to get. And the wrath of God has been unleashed upon me. We have to try it again. Swipes again. Yep, still declined. Sorry. So yeah, that's kind of my rant video of the day. I don't really want to make a habit of ranting, but I thought it was kind of funny. I thought maybe you guys would enjoy some of these stories or maybe you'll be able to relate to some of them. I hope you guys really liked this video. If you want to, you can like it or share it to someone that you know that works in retail or food and see if they can relate to any of these. So I want to know what's your most annoying retail or food story. Leave a comment below. So this is Natalia Taylor signing off. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful day. And don't forget to hashtag slay.